Dr. Peel's influence came at a very young age for me um, because I saw him on television several times. There was a regular weekly telecast that was available in our area, and it was shown on Sunday nights. It was a broadcast that was either that morning or perhaps a previous week from, um, from the Marble Collegiate Church. And, gee, he was an impressive speaker. Now, I listened to a lot of sermons. My uncle was a Methodist minister. My grandfather was a Methodist minister. I'd listened to a lot of sermons. His had a power and an enthusiasm that, uh, that they had as well, but he had a way of incorporating stories into his messages that made it very, very en engrossing. In addition, I learned of the book that he, that he had written, The Power of Positive Thinking, and I read that. And in addition, um, my mom encouraged me, though did not force me, I think she was smart enough to know better to encourage than enforce, uh, to read a publication that was called The Upper Room, which I still do to this day. And off of that, I learned about guideposts and the fact that, like The Upper Room, these were stories told by regular people about experiences in their lives. I've been a guidepost subscriber for a number of years, uh, probably over 25 now. And so the influence of Dr. Peel with that publication has made all the difference in the world to me. I think everybody uh, probably has uncertainties. I know that I have them too. And uh, they wind up coming to you at the time of adversity and that's when your faith has to be the strongest. Can you manufacture that yourself? No, it's just like sweat doesn't produce a Stanley Cup. It's sweat doesn't produce a miracle. Uh, it sure helps get you part way to it, but then there are other factors that have to take place in athletic achievement. And it's the same way in, in maintaining a faith. I think like doing push-ups every day, um, that studying the Bible and reading various publications that you've grown accustomed to that help you learn that there are people out there that are sharing the same thing you do is a gradual thing that helps strengthen your faith. Guideposts has been tremendous for that because the stories that are told are real. They are so good that they could be fiction, but they are real and they enhance your own faith because you see others have been through the same thing that you have. Ernie Harwell used to always say that a man's lucky if God gives him a job to do that he enjoys, and that's a quote that I usually give at the time I receive anything that anyone has given to me. And I think that probably is the bottom line of all of this for me. I'm very fortunate in that I've been led to a job or been prodded to a job or circumstances have just placed me right in the path of this job that is so much fun for me and I hope fulfills some sort of purpose that he has for my life.